new business in the Treasure Valley is making it their mission to find out if your child is on or hiding illegal drugs. It's news, of course, no parent wants to hear, but the owners of a private drug dog search company say they can help sniff out the truth. KTVB's Gretchen Parsons brings us this story. Gretchen. Well, Kim, K9 Detective Drug Dog Service has been in business for just several months now. So far, owners Johanna Kratt and Thomas Schoeder say most clients are concerned parents, but they will also search businesses and even schools. A key selling point, they never contact law enforcement about their findings. I got a demonstration and found out more about how this company works. Both Johanna Kratt and Thomas Schoeder have been training dogs for more than three decades. Schoeder was working in Chicago coaching German Shepherds for police and says he was repeatedly asked to do private searches with his dogs. People approaching me and ask, hey, can your dog uh, search the household, uh, private household, because we think, you know, my kid's hiding something or they're using something. And from there, Canine Detective Drug Dog Service was created. Along with offering services to parents, we offer it to employers that will have occasionally surprise searches through their businesses and then, of course, schools. For basic uh, drugs, what we are starting to train the dogs on is marijuana, is LSD, cocaine, and heroin. And, heroin. and Schroeder and Kratz say they always remain discreet. Driving unmarked cars when on a it's job. Nothing to indicate what we do. We, we want our clients to know that when we come that we're going to be completely confidential. To train the dogs, which are German shepherds, Schroeder uses pseudo drugs that can be bought on the internet but smell like the real thing. In this demonstration, Schroeder hides fake LSD under a footstool upstairs. Then Kratt releases the hound. After sniffing out the dope, the dog sits to notify Kratt he's found the stash. With training, you start to recognize your dog's signals. This time, Schroeder hides some fake heroin in a more discreet place in the garage and brings a different German Shepherd out to sleuth around. Instead of sitting, this dog scratches to signal he found the illegal substance. So once the dogs find the drugs, I ask what a Kratt and Schroeder do with the contraband. When we find something, it's up to the parents what they do with it. They dispose it or whatever. We don't take any drugs. We're not allowed to take anything out of the house. Idaho state law forbids anyone to be in possession of illegal drugs. According to this company model, it would be the parent, business manager, or school administrator in possession if drugs are found, which is why the Boise Police Department says they should contact an officer who can safely remove the substances. Kratt and Schroeder say their services start at about $150, and depending on how many rooms or car or whatever you want searched, then it could go up from there. Back to you. I remember talking with the Boise police officer during Red Ribbon Week mm -hmm. right here on the News at 4, and he talked about how there are a lot of devices out there, Gretchen, that mm -hmm. kids use to hide drugs, yes. like a fake water bottle that they unscrew and they put the drugs in the bottom. So as a parent, you think, oh, it's just a water bottle mm -hmm. when you're randomly maybe searching their room. So, boy, as a parent, I'd hate to have to use them, but I guess this is a good business to know exists if you if you are having an issue with your child and you want to know. That's yeah. right. And Schroeder, he also mentioned that in in one of the, his search cases, he did find marijuana, but it was covered in, like you said, a water bottle and then driver sheet or dryer sheets to really mask the smell. But yeah. the dogs were able to sniff it out. And as a parent, we would just look right over exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah. All right, Gretchen. Thank you.